Well guys, I've had a lot of comments about the programming cable I got for the uh, Kenwood TK760. It's one I bought off of eBay a few years ago and it didn't work out of the box. So there's a bunch of modifications that had to be done to the board as well as adding a USB 5 volt power supply in order to run the board. Uh, my friend Mr. Ray over in Ireland helped me uh, get this programming cable working and there's been a lot of people since uh, asking how the modifications were done how you got the USB cable to power the board well this morning I gotta do some work on this cable anyway because uh, the cord here the wiring that when this was manufactured how they actually wired into this is just horrible <laughs> so I'm going to pull this apart here today and uh, well never really pull it apart but cut it apart so I can redo the soldering jobs here and uh, I'll go over the steps on how to modify this programming cable in order to program the Kenwood TK760 so anyway if you're interested hang tight Exposes the wiring down here that I gotta fix. So let's have a look at that first. So the programming cable, the plug six pin on one end. There's only three wires used to program the radio. You got a red, black, and a white. So the problem I have here is the wires all frayed on the red, frayed on black, and frayed on the white. So I'm gonna disconnect these and re-solder them. You can see they're not very uh, healthy looking there. So uh, we'll get you a closer, a closer look. Right up close and personal. I just love that soldering job there. Ain't that just, uh, just awesome. Get a little screwdriver here. This white one here. As you can see, it's all frayed. Black is frayed. So is the weight. So we're going to, I'm going to resolder all those before I do anything at all. Give you an idea. This cable is not secured here very good at all. Let's watch the wires inside as I move this thing. See that? So next thing I'm going to highly suggest you do after you uh, when you get this thing cut top off it, put a tie wrap inside here cable clamp to make sure the uh, cable here doesn't pull as you see here okay so we have eight solder pads across the bottom of the board that the wires are connected to they correspond to these pads so what we've got going on for the programming cable and radio side which is the radio side we have um, white, black and red so we're going to disconnect those wiring I'm going to uh, add the monitor again resolder, tin and fix them up give you an idea of the solder or the strip length that was used on these wiring ain't that ridiculous <laughs> Anyway, we're going to redo the ends here, so they're not looking like that. Hey boys, here's the modifications you have to do with this cable. I've done a video on this before, we'll do it again. Add this jumper 
on this side. This is the 5 pin solder to DB9. You had to add this jumper, then you had to make sure you solder three of these pins together here. Make sure you make a cut on the trace just below the zero, as you can see in the center of the screen. Then you add this resistor right there, between ground and ground, basically. As you can see. And the other wires are fixed up. The white, the black, and the red, which goes to the uh, goes out to the radio end. The USB cord side. The white connects to ground over here. There's two pads you have to solder together here. So if you go on top to bottom, there's eight pins, eight solder pads here. So you would uh, solder pad four and five to ground. Where it says ground, ground, just bridge those two pads. But anyway, your weight would go to ground, and your red wire over here go to power plus. And that's it. When uh, this cable was bought originally off eBay, 40TK760, the cable did not work. So, uh, myself and Ray, more Ray than anything, <laughs> he helped me uh, figure the programming cable out. So, there we have it. So now I'm going to tape it all up. And, uh, yeah, hopefully uh, it'll work for another few years. Anyways, there you have it. The programming cable for the TK760.